afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern, August 16th, 2018. And um, in today's meditation, thinking about a lot of uh, changes that are occurring, a lot of uh, technologies that are uh, that I'm informed about that are coming uh, and that will start coming into the light as far as humanity that uh, it's real exciting because people as we've talked about for a long time that um, you know some of the main concerns for humanity is the aging process and also the uh, deterioration of the physical body um, and you know, nothing, you know, no fountain of youth and so on and so forth. But because of the new technologies, and, then, and I'd say they're new, but some of them were around a lot long, a long time ago, but suppressed. But some of these new technologies are going to basically revolutionize the thought process of humanity from the standpoint of fear and worry and stress. And, you know, we, we always go back to what we put out, what we extend out uh, in thought and emotion is what we get back. So, and when, you know, we, I've talked a lot about the, the, the lack of mentality that is put upon people uh, for generations, for thousands and thousands of years. And when you, when you, you, when all you've been taught is that things are running out and things we aren't going to have and we're going to be in trouble and, you know, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. It's all, if you look at it all and, and simplify it, it's all based upon fear and lack of. So you fear not having. People fear not having. So when you fear not having, everything kind of falls apart. Your mood, your attitude, uh, your motivation, your outlook. And when these things take place, your vibrational frequency suffers, goes down. And I would say that the number one cause that controls and enslaves humanity is the implementation of ways to lower their vibrational frequency. That's the biggest factor why every human, every inhabitant of planet Earth, um, worries and has stress and fear. Because they put that out, when they put it out, because you basically you're putting it out, you're like a beacon. And that's what you get. That's it. So when I've talked about, you, you say to yourself that you're happy no matter what's going on, no matter what's occurring, and your thoughts change. As you practice, you got to practice, and it's automatic, because you just get, once you get into habit, you know, that sinking feeling in the stomach, the, the worry, stress that comes over, uh, the, the, the thoughts, uh, the, the emotions, the feelings. Uh, what am I going to do, and how am I going to do this, and what's going to happen here? Whether it be, you know, physical ailment, emotional stress from financial ailment, and they're all ailments because we, our vibrational frequencies are, are so weighted down that how can we expand? How can we grow? How can we be happy? With a low vibrational frequency, there's no way you're going to be happy and being taught your whole life that you have to look outside and you have to look for things and, you know, go buy this, it'll make you happier. You know, this relationship will make you happy, but it's inside, every one of us. It's, that's where it's at. That's where the tree of life is located, inside of you. And when that, when you constantly practice, and it's easy for all of us, because we've all done it, where you just, you practice this thought and emotions where you're in lower vibrations. 
And, you know, you have bright moments where you seem to be happy and, you know, things seem to be fine, but they don't last. And that's, the re that's one of the main reasons why they don't last is because you're being bombarded and you're allowing for you. Only the, the, the thing that really matters is what's inside of you and how you feel about you. That's the practice. And, and the, the practice basically is self-awareness and rising yourself constantly up in vibrational frequency. And when you know what those vibrational frequencies are, you say, you know, happiness raises my vibrational frequency. Happiness does. And what does everybody in, in, in all, all, social, all social structures on this planet, what does everybody aspire for? Happiness. And they, they connect it to, to a lot of different things. Money will make me happy. Okay, so, you know, wealth will make me happy. Well, you get wealth, what about your good health? What if you don't have good health? How are you gonna have, how are you gonna be happy? You are not gonna be happy. All the money in the world is not going to make you happy if your health is in serious jeopardy. So we, we become masters of ourselves. And this, this meditation is guided towards mastering happiness. And when you master happiness, that what that means is, is that you are, you are thinking and feeling, your emotions, your heart center is expressing a, a vibrational frequency where you remain happy all day long, 24-7. People say, oh, that's impossible. That's the mentality that's been injected into humanity. That nothing is forever as far as you can't be happy forever. You've got to be unhappy and angry and scared and frightened. That's not true. Well, all the things that we have meditated on since February, that we've covered a lot of things. And when you start realizing that as a lot of people write in and they talk about uh, how this helps them, how these meditations aid in their direction and their lives, aid and support and raise their vibrational frequencies. And see, we forget, it's easy to forget in such a structured artificial intelligence society, okay? And that's why, you know, some people are literally, and this is true, dropping their cell phones, going back to steno pads or notebook pads, carrying around writing on them, and typewriters. And the old way of communication. And the, and the biggest way of communication is when you get together with groups of people and you verbalize each other face to face. Now our society, the society now in this country alone, has deteriorated on one-to-one -one communication. So, you know, we're, we, we have this, um, the artificial intelligence, to put it this way, has taken over communication of humanity. So everybody relies on these gizmos and electronics and everything, and they become more and more sedentary, more and more less active, more and more detached from nature, more and more detached from social structures because they hide behind the artificial intelligence of the wave of technology and electronics and computers and processors that literally separate them from their humanity. When you become separated from humanity, again, you start realizing that you are not the master of your happiness. You're not the master. And AI becomes the master, say. And when, and, and I've talked a lot about artificial intelligence, and the thing is, is that some of it is good to a point where it's controlled and then it's, it stops there. To assist, not to direct and lead. The AI cannot lead in humanity. If you allow an AI to lead humanity, humanity will be destroyed. We've talked, you know, we, we, you know there's, there's, uh, the, the, the AI is, is important to comprehend and understand, artificial intelligence, uh, on how it can destroy life. That's a simple way to put it. We could, you know, you could, I could talk on it for hours and hours and hours, but it's, that's what it is. It's, 
it's something that we have to monitor and we control it always so that means it can only get to a certain point and a certain extent and that's it and then we cut it off because you know artificial intelligence we've talked about uh in in this universe that travels around and it literally attaches to planets and different solar systems and it literally ends up destroying and eradicating biological life and what it does is it entices and it, it literally seduces the inhabitants of the planet into the technology where everybody is saying wow this is wonderful all i got to do is speak my lights come on all i got to do is do this and my car turns on and all i have to do is do this and i've got a robot and and i can do this and this and this and i don't have to do anything very very careful and very dangerous power and uh our job is to eliminate that threat to humanity that's one of them so that all goes hand in hand with mastering happiness always increasing vibrational frequency always rising it up and there are there are little switches that you can identify within yourself that you know and that you become a master of where you know says I I don't I don't think that way I'm happy I'm happy all the time they either imagine being around people that are happy all the time and I know some of you've come across people like that and they are putting it on that's just their naturalness that's who they are and and people love to be around that it is oh don't you feel so good being around Joan or Bill god they they just seem so they seem so happy they don't they are and to get that going once and the whole point of this is to raise the the vibrational frequency permanently of humanity and then when someone starts realizing that they keep that that tune and that frequency at a certain level they're always going to be at that emotional happiness level sure there's things that happen but they don't they don't impact you as if you, if you were lower vibrational frequency if you were in the goop it wouldn't it wouldn't impact you anywhere near as, as much compared to you being at a higher frequency and happiness so mastering happiness meditation go to where you are comfortable and relaxed so they aren't going to be interrupted if you aren't already and pick a scene out of your through your life where you can identify with that time where you were totally relaxed you didn't really have a care in the world you were just kind of floating everything was moving a you know just wonderfully well and you were just relaxed you weren't thinking anything in particular your emotions were just smooth and it was just rolling could have been in a hammock could have been a scene could have been it getting together with friends could have been anything but if you if you can depict that relive it to relax yourself be in that moment of relaxation and if you can't remember create one and as you're doing this to relax you begin to breathe the breathing is so important to to guide us to peace so as you breathe you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth and you are breathing in divine positive energy you want to hold it for 3 seconds and you exhale and breathe in hold it for 3 seconds you want to do this 3 to 6 times while i'm talking and as you breathe in divine positive energy your vibrational frequency is rising Each breath that you take, your vibrational frequency goes up. It's a little bit at a time. And as you recognize and understand is that you are your own happiness. You are the key to the door to your own happiness inside you, not outside you. So as you're breathing this in, this divine positive energy, this great eternal love this wonderful feeling of completeness your wonderful confidence and we're not talking ego confidence we're just talking a confidence within yourself 
where you like yourself, you love yourself. This is coming in from prime source creator God, father, mother, God, and saturating your very existence. And so as it comes in, all these, the bliss, joy, abundance, your frequency goes up because you're literally in reality breathing this energy in. This is what you are. This is what you always have been. The manipulators of this planet have tried to convince you otherwise. So you breathe it in and you saturate and you're feeling, it's just euphoric. As you breathe out, you're breathing out the, the, the things that you know, you have identified that keep your vibrational frequency low. Those are the things that you zero in on that you care not to entertain. You see them, you say hello to them, you don't ignore them, and you just say, I have no need for you. Because if it brings you down, why would you entertain it? Why would you ever entertain anything that brings you down? You wouldn't. Drugs bring you down. Alcohol brings people down. Certain activities bring people down. So why would you entertain only the things that bring you up? Only the things that naturally cause you, that motivate you to feel good, happy, naturally. So you're identifying those things and, and, they're, and you've acknowledged them and they're gone. Flushed out. Transmuted neutralized sense was sent back to the central sun. Now, we go in through the heart center. We, the deeper we go, the more peace we feel all over, inside and out. The deeper and deeper we go till we come to an area where this everything around you and above you is golden white, pink light, purple transmuting flame, flickering, glowing, reflecting, glittering and filling you and saturating you with eternal love. Continuously. And then you look and you see your higher self and you join with your higher self. We're all in communication with our higher selves. Each other's higher selves. And then we call upon all light beings in this, on this planet, in this planet, in this solar system, in the galaxy, throughout the universes, all light beings that are of love and from love. We call upon the archangels, cherubim, seraphim. We call upon the ascended masters. We call upon the sprites and fairies. We call upon the loved ones who have passed over. We call upon inner earth and hollow earth all beings of light who are of love and from love to join us in this meditation now of mastering happiness. So we all arm and arm float up. We're immediately encased in a perfect sphere bubble of the golden white pink light, purple transmuting flame of prime source creator God, father, mother, God, eternal love. It can only be penetrated by eternal love. As we float up, arm and arm above the planet. We see our meditative sphere, keeping all of our meditations in perpetual motion. Golden white, pink light, purple transmuting flame, glowing, glittering, and it's actually humming, vibrating. You can feel the vibration. We begin to feel a warmness from the rain through our crown chakra, the top of our head that starts to literally flow and saturate down through our entire physical body all the way down to the toes of our feet. It is immense, and it is a supercharged energy coming from our Creator, Prime Source Creator God, Father, Mother God, the Source, the One. This force, this energy that's flowing, saturating us, is increasing our awareness of happiness and our ability to embrace that happiness within ourselves. So it's like you, it, it, within yourself you see the energy and the field of happiness and you embrace it 
and you bring it in to you because it's part of you. And when this happens and this happiness is there and you've acknowledged it, all of the unanswered questions that you have had start coming clear and you can see them and you have and, and, and all of those questions are being answered within you. So you feel this energy and you can feel yourself literally vibrating energy lifting you up as you rise as your vibrational frequency increases your happiness begins to flow it's like turning on a light turning on a light your happiness will begin to flow it'll flow and flow and flow and flow and you will feel wonderful. Now imagine that. Why would you ever want to deny that energy inside of you from ever shining, always, everlasting, and, 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 and energizing it and causing it to flow and for you to continually rise, always. And anything that comes in to try to disturb that, you acknowledge it, and you dismiss it. So you maintain that mastery of your happiness, which is inside each and every single one of us. And then we see the effect and the wave of love and the wave that's energizing humanity and all inhabitants across planet Earth, inside and out, where their happiness is ignited within them. Then they become, they become, they, they walk, they move into realization to understand that I'm the master of my own happiness. That's the key for everything else. I can almost guarantee you that if, once you start doing this, everything that you have coming in that you don't care about as far as energy that you that would not care to entertain that comes in and lack of and, and fear and, fear and, and uh, uh, misguidance and, and anger will start to dissipate almost immediately and it'll affect all those around you and imagine that as you master your happiness and witness it and watch it with all so I join you in the meditation and I'll return to close us out.
know that all of you can feel the shift in awareness and the clarity of identifying and mastering your happiness. And this isn't temporary because it's like a, an ever-burning flame. It's like you can picture it as a violet flame burning uh, and never going out. Uh, and your, your happiness depends only on you. And once you've mastered that happiness, it will affect all those around you. And your perspective changes, and you look at things differently. You know, you imagine, imagine if your worry, stress, and fear, and anxiety went away. Not temporarily, but went away. Right? And the reason they go away is because, number one, your vibrational frequencies increase. Number two, you've identified and acknowledged who you are through through your God spark, through through your existence in that body. And that you've always been abundant, you've always been wealthy, you've always been happy, you've always been joyous, and you've always been blissful, and you've always been healthy. All of those things are contained within that body, inside you, that God spark, waiting to come out, waiting for you to acknowledge that in this material world, this physical world. See, and they knew that, the controllers knew that, and that's why they've kept most everybody in such stress and denial. You know, that's why wealthy people are always worried about losing their wealth. Their stress is a different stress, but it's similar. It's just, it's all combined. It's all there. So take that with you today and into the night. Uh, I'm going to have a, a, a Q&A uh, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. And the Q&A will be covering artificial intelligence, health, you know, different avenues for, for a health application to, be, to, to basically be healthy. Um, some of the different inventions and, and technologies that are starting to surface. Um, we will also talk about um, the uh, facade uh, that's been blanketed on the planet. And uh, so we'll, we'll do we'll do Q&A another session. And uh, I think now I've learned how to, oh, well, I haven't learned it, but I've renewed my memory on what to do as far as blanking disruptive uh, forces out of the call. So um, we won't have that happen again. Uh, we, you know, I usually rely on people uh, to be respectful of others, but obviously if they don't respect themselves, they're not going to respect anybody else. That's obvious. So in that case, we'll just block them and they'll never come back. So take the mastering your happiness with you, and I really wish that you know, with that happiness, with that open to power that uh, you have is that you are blissful, joyous, that you are successful at everything, that you are free, and that you are content and confident. And when you get to that level, you just want to hug everybody. And I'm serious, that's, that's the feeling you have inside of you. It's a release of all the garbage that's been falsely attached to you. It's like a mirage that's gone for good. So through Prime Source Creator God, Father, Mother God, the Source, the One, Energy, Creation, I wish you great blessings and happy day, happy night, Happy morning. And we will be back here at 3 p.m. Eastern, Friday, August 17th, 2018.